Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. As I am sure most of you know by now, Pope Francis put his foot in his mouth again yesterday in an interview which he gave on an airplane flight back from Armenia. At least, that's what his apologists are saying. A lot of people like to give excuses for the Pope, and they say that he's speaking off the cuff. Well, if you listen to that interview, you will notice that he speaks very carefully. He pauses very often. And what he said was that the church should apologize to gays. And he was answering a reporter's question about that shooting in Orlando because a Florida bishop and a German cardinal said that that's what the church must do. No mention at all that it was a Muslim who killed those 49 homosexuals. No mention that Catholics do not kill gays, but Muslims do. And the Pope justified his statement that the church should apologize to gays by quoting from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and I have a copy right here, and I want to let you decide. Did the Pope really quote accurately the Catechism of the Catholic Church about homosexuality? And this is paragraph 2357. Basing itself on sacred scripture, the Bible says homosexuality is an abomination, which presents homosexual acts as acts of grave depravity. Did you hear that, Pope Francis? Tradition has always declared that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. They are contrary to the natural law. Of course, they are unnatural. They close the sexual act to the gift of life. They do not proceed from a genuine, effective, and sexual complementarity. Under no circumstances can they be approved. Now, the next paragraph is where the Pope bases what he said. Paragraph 2358. Every sign of unjust discrimination in their regard should be avoided. Well, I agree with that. You should not discriminate against gays. You should help them. But you don't help gays by apologizing to them, by asking their forgiveness. That is absurd. And that's what the Pope did. He went beyond actually apologizing to them. He asked their forgiveness. That is perversion, Pope Francis. That is blasphemy. You are not a true Pope. You have not been anointed with oil, as the prophet Daniel prophesied 2,500 years ago. And now I recommend, Pope, that you read the next verse, or the next paragraph, 2359. Homosexual persons are called to chastity. I didn't hear any of that in your impromptu remarks, which you thought about very carefully, but which you have been considered for a long, long time. You know what you are saying. You are uttering the words of the false prophet, you are leading Catholics astray. And as I have warned you Catholics for many years here on YouTube, you are going to have to separate yourself from the Catholic Church. Now that does not mean you come out from her, from Babylon. That's what the false prophets tell you. That is a misinterpretation of Revelation. Babylon is not the Catholic Church. But you Catholics do have to separate yourself like the stone that is separated from the mountain in Daniel 2. Because it is your duty to defeat the one world communist tyranny. Don't think that Donald Trump is going to perform that feat. He does not have the qualifications. As in Revelation 11 too, John is told to measure the temple of God, but he only measures those who worship at the altar. He does not measure the external courtyard, which is given to the Gentiles. That is what has happened. As Mary said at La Salette, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. That is about to happen because the false prophet has taken over. He is not anointed with oil. This is one more lie from the Pope 
Jesus told the Pope, Pope Peter the first, whatsoever you bind on heaven is bound on earth. Does this mean that heaven is also required to apologize to gays? Does this mean that Almighty God is going to have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah? Is Almighty God going to have to ask Sodom and Gomorrah for forgiveness? I think you Catholics especially have to realize, and I have a terrible job trying to convince people in my own parish that this Pope is false. We still have a true Pope, Pope Benedict, but in the end times, after Pope Benedict is martyred, the only Pope we will have then is Pope Peter the first. He will be at the gates of heaven, just as prophesied in the book of Esther. He is the one who is going to lead the remnant church through the great tribulation. And I know I've condensed a lot of information in this video. Watch my other videos for explanations. And as always, if you would like more information about my ministry here on YouTube, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.